talking about random shit part 22 today we're going to be talking about Assassin's Creed um I, I know it's ironic I'm playing the actual game I one of the Assassin's Creed games while talking about it hush I know people are gonna say I know I know I know I know I understand but I have a gripe with this the newer Assassin's Creed's I liked I liked uh, Origins. I fucked with Origins. I actually really uh, enjoyed Origins as a game compared to um. Stop. Hello. Help. Damn it. Stop that shit, my guy. I'm saying Assassin's Creed. I, I like I like Origins. I loved Origins. I also loved um Odyssey. I love. I wouldn't. I'll say. I'll say. I enjoy playing Odyssey, but it's not an Assassin Creed game, really. You know, it's not. It don't got nothing to do with assassins and anything like that. But it's a fun game. It's fun. It's enjoyable. That's the. That's the thing. That's what Assassin's Creed games were: enjoyable, fun, doing this, jumping off, of, off of scaffoldings and stuff, and assassinate people and stuff. I personally think they should do a more modern version of the Assassin's. Like, leave the whole in the past type stuff for now and just go into a more modern sense. Maybe for one game. I'd say for one game. I'd say for one game, go non-modern. Go modern and don't and, and for that one game. Don't go don't go modern all the time. Go modern once for that one game. Oh shit. Oh fuck! I missed. Mm. Well, you ring, I didn't mean for them to ring the alarm, but hey, sometimes it happens. Mistakes are made. You don't stop, sir. I'm sorry. Can't shoot me. Come on, man. But I was saying, like, um, Get out here, you skulker. <laughs> the the thing, the reason why I like Assassin's Creed, um, Black Flag, is because it's enjoyable. The whole being able to do that, you know, being able to do that, and all this stuff, it, it's fun. It's what made Assassin's Creed fun, you know. It's an enjoyable experience, but. People, I think, I think the people who running it now, because they have a new, they have new people in there, and I don't think they play the old games, or if they have, they don't really respect the the, the old. I'm not saying you got to respect. Like, that makes me sound like an old head bitch. Cause I don't like that shit. I, I feel like you should be able to creativity should be, you know, you shouldn't be just stifling because people want old shit. I want old stuff because I enjoyed it. I grew up with Assassin's Creed. Uh, Black Flag. I grew up with um, I grew up with all with uh, Assassin's Creed Three, Brotherhood, Revelations, and stuff. I grew up with those games. So with, for me, it's like, oh, I want that. I want my childhood type games, but I want childhood. But hey, I, Mirage seems very interesting. It's going back to the roots about the, because Valhalla was fucking trash. I'm sorry. If you enjoyed the game, that's it's a you have yes a per, my personal opinion. I don't like Valhalla. I never did. I never enjoyed Valhalla. I enjoyed it for the first like hour until <laughs> until I got to England. Right when I got to England, that's when the game just started getting really bad. It's when right when they get to England, that's when the game get really bad for me. like, and I mean bad. You know what I mean? Like I don't like I don't like when they get to England. England was terrible. I'm sorry. Like the first half of the game was good. I got, I enjoyed the first half, but then when, once we got to England, shit just went downhill for me, for me in terms of enjoyment factor about the game. I just could not enjoy that. I just couldn't enjoy it. I just literally couldn't. Maybe that's a personal gripe, but personally, I just didn't enjoy that. Just couldn't. I just couldn't find enjoyment in um in that. Leave the black people alone. Y'all free now. Have fun. But I just, enjoy, I just, I just didn't enjoy that because the grind was so annoying. And then I tried replaying it. I actually tried to replay uh, Valhalla, 
and I could not. I, I played a minute, like, tw like I'll say like, I'll say like three minutes, maybe a, a, a I try to go 10 minutes, try to play the game for 10 minutes, 10 whole minutes to see if I can find reasons to enjoy the game. And I couldn't find it within like an, a minute of playing it. It just, I just did not like playing that game. That was one bad game. I, I just, you just, I never played Syndicate, so I can't say the game's good or bad. I can't say it's good or bad because I haven't played it. I was interested. I'm interested in playing it, but I just never really had the urge to like go out and buy the game to play it. But I, I have seen gameplay. It seems interesting in terms of like having a dual, you know, having two different assassins. You can play as two different assassins who have their own two different personality traits. One's funny, one's a comedic relief character, and the other one's like a more serious type beat character. Like I see, I can see it's interesting in that aspect, but I, I just never really had the urge to play it. But for me, it's just like, that Valhalla was just, Valhalla was bad. Like it was not a good game. Valhalla was not a good game. Like I honestly think it was a terrible game. I did not like that game. Just did not, I just not have, I just not have a, had a fun time playing that. Just didn't. You know? But I feel like the, the newer title, the newer title that's coming out now. Like that's, that's interesting. The newer title seems very interesting. Like that seems very interesting. That seems very interesting to me. I don't. I, I just. I'm just not interested in the other. Um, in the other games. I like the other games are great, but just that game specifically. I was not interested. You know, that game was just bad. But I, I'm gonna stop repeating myself on about how, how bad it was. But M Mirage seems interesting. I heard. I. I don't know, I can't remember if they said there was going to be two protagonists, I can't remember if they going to do that. But I feel like they should just do one. I really do feel like they should just stick to one protagonist. Make a protagonist and just, just keep it that way. Don't make multiple protagonists, that's how you fuck up. Because I feel like that's what's fucking it up. Because you can't make a good story without two different fucking characters and two different, you know, character and personalities and tones. Like, let's say you have a character that's supposed to be a comedic and you want a more serious Assassin's Creed. Obviously, you want the players to play the more serious, char serious character. But you obviously want people to have the choice of playing any, each, the both characters. But then you want to say, oh, well, the game, the story is meant to be more serious. Like, okay. Then keep, like, do what they did in the past. Like, Ezio the Connor, like that stuff, like just one protagonist, one character, just one character. Oh, miss. Okay, well, if I miss, I'm talk. I'm gonna come whoop your ass myself. <laughs> hey, ain't, ain't nothing but a G thing. I'm coming straight for you. If you fuck me up, I'm gonna laugh. Chill out. Hey, chill out, bro. Sir, 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 sir. I believe in, yeah, I believe in equality. Sorry. Kick your ass right off the, uh, the ledge my bad bro but yeah that the mirage could be good i think it could be good i have i have i don't have high hopes like like you give your hopes up and stuff i don't do that no more i stopped doing that a long time ago because it like the old saying if you expect disappointment then you can't be i mean if you if you expect disappointment then you can't be surprised you know what i mean you can't be surprised if you expect disappointment you know what i'm saying if you expect to be disappointed, you can't be surprised. You'll be surprised that it's actually good. That's the only time you can be surprised is when it's actually good, you know? You're not gonna be disappointed. You can't be disappointed if you're not, you know, if you're expecting the worst. You have a pleasant surprise when you expect the worst, because guess what? When you expect the worst, there's a pleasant surprise. But I'm not going in there like, like, oh, it's gonna be bad, like like most people do, like these fucking shitty channels I talked about in my other videos. They'd be like, oh, this shit gonna be trash. Oh, they have this, it's gonna be trash. Yeah, I don't do that. I say, you know what, I wait till the game come out, I look at the gameplay and I say, hmm, is this game worth playing? All right, I'll play and see if it's good or not. You know? So I play, and then I play, and then I say, oh, it's either bad or good. That, that's the reason why I say Valhalla is bad, because I played the game. I actually went and sat down and played. I had to play twice. There's a reason why my anger for this game is high, 
is because I played the game twice, technically. I played the game twice. On, I played it twice. And not by choice. I mean because the glitch in the game caused me to pro my progression that I couldn't progress. I couldn't progress. I could not beat the game. So I had to restart my entire game and play it again. So that's why I have this like hatred for this game. I have a lot of hatred for it because I had to do that. And it was AIDS. I had to replay the game, know all the plot points. I was pissed. I even guessed the damn main Templar. I guessed him because I saw his silhouette and then I read a clue. Uh, uh, this girl named Falky took Sigurd. Oh, spoilers. Well, it's too late now. You've this game been out. I'll put spoilers in the title so you won't get fucked up. But Sigurd get taken by uh, Falky gets taken, and the clue says Falky works for somebody. Okay, who did we meet? Who was commanded by Falky? Who commanded Falky? with me who command who commands Falky I wonder and then I thought about it I was like okay okay someone commands Falky okay and I was thinking I was thinking I was like wait a minute we met this damn king Saxon king, West West Wessex king and he was telling Falky what to do he's the fucking Templar and all I did was look at so I said okay he looked like him in the silhouette but let me let me go let me go see if I can meet him again and see his silhouette and then I met him again and saw his silhouette and I was like oh my fucking god bro I was so mad because I guessed it. I guessed it. And I don't think they wanted you to do that. I don't think they wanted you to do that. I, I really don't believe they wanted you to guess that um, he is, um, you know, part of the Templars. The reason why I don't get these holsters because they ruin the outfit. Because look, the outfit looks cool. He'll have like little chest plates like you know the little the holsters on his chest and i don't like that i don't like the holsters on the chest i really don't i don't fuck with it i don't fuck with the the, the holsters on the chest so i just said you know what i just have two holsters it's fine i can i can rock with two pistols it's okay and plus these are dime these are the gold pistols that are like op and stuff and i have the pistol uh, i i love this game i enjoy it i love the characters i loved uh mary i i, I loved her I loved all the characters. I, I, I loved all the characters in this game. They were really good in this game specifically. But I just, I, as soon as, soon as I, I played Valhalla, I just, there was one character I fucked with the most and it was Ivar. Ivar was one of the coolest characters, the most charismatic, the most funniest characters in the game. And they just killed him off. They just killed him off. And I'm like, are you fucking kidding me? We got a bitch sound like she's smoking cigarettes every goddamn day. And that's our character. And then we got another one that's kind of bland and boring. She's kind of, he kind of bland and boring whenever. He's kind of bland and fucking boring as well. She sound like she smokes cigarettes. She saw she smoked ciggies all goddamn day. I smoke ciggies all day. That's what she sound like. She smoked ciggies all goddamn day. And I fucking didn't stand that shit. I could not stand it. So I said, fuck it. I'm not gonna, I'm not about to sit here and, um, and, and play this, bro. I got upset. I got, I got triggered. I got tired of this shit. I said, fuck it. I'm not playing this shit no more. And I cut it off. But that, that was me. But Mirage seems interesting because they, they're bringing it back to OG. They're bringing it back to the OG Assassin's Creed. They're bringing back OGs. Like literally Assassin's Creed order type stuff. I am, I'm watching, I'm looking, I'm looking at it with a critical eye, but also I'm going to give it a fair shot. When, that, when the game come out, I'm going to give it a fair shot. I'm going to give it a fair shake. I'm, I'm going to give it a fair shake. I'm going to, I'm going to give it that fair shake it needs. I'm not going to, I'm not going to come in here with a preconceived notion. I'm not going to come in here with none of that. That's how you fuck up. Um, that's why some people ruin shit. When you come in these shits with preconceived notions and preconceived beliefs and feelings instead of just saying you know what i'm going to let the game tell me its story to me and let me sit down and watch it and see what you can do that's why i didn't hate velma that's why i legit didn't hate velma because i didn't care for it. like personally it just wasn't like to, to me the story and the aspects of what it was doing it didn't really piss me off as much as something like jesse would or something of that nature you know that's me specifically. That's my thing, because it's for me. 
I know some people didn't go into that with the whole, I hate it as soon as I see, I get it. Maybe they just really have an issue. That's their thing. But I, I don't, I don't have that. I don't have that hatred. I wish I did. I wish I could be that the the 47 900 million person to say Velma sucks and say it in the same words everyone else it says. I'm sorry. That shit got, got me. That shit got me. Y'all saying the same shit in the same words. That shit killed me. It, it, it's it's try to be self-aware, but it fails at being self-aware. It's too on the nose. Everyone's saying this. We know. We all know. And I have a feeling that's the purpose of the show, to do that on purpose. I have a legit sneaking suspicion that the reason why the show is like that is because it wants to be that way. It wants people to act the way they are. It wants people to talk about it. They want people to do that stuff. Damn it. Get off me, bitch. I wanted to shoot you. Yeah, run. Oh! Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, this is how real life works. Yeah. Oh, yeah, real life works just like this. <laughs> like you won't be. <laughs> Got your gun and they moving too. <laughs> Can't even see them. That's how it be. Them boy move too fast. <laughs> catch you lacking. You can't pull. You can't even shoot the gun. <laughs> can't even catch them. They moving too damn fast. But, um. That's just my thing about the game. It's just I don't really fuck with it. I mean, I don't I don't fuck with about Hollow Butt. And I really I, I Velma's okay. It ain't that bad of a show. If you understand it's going to be cheesy as fuck, and you understand it, there's a bunch of shows just like this, but worse. But no one talks about them. It's just interesting. People selective. They have selective bias. I, I, I I've noticed it. People let Jesse pass. People let fucking uh, Flapjack pass. People say Flapjack's one of the best shows. Are you fucking kidding me? The most nastiest, ugliest motherfucking show to ever exist. And you're going to say it's goaded? Get the fuck out of here. Get the fuck out of here. You're calling something that looks like a fucking thump, like a, a, a fucking fever dream as a goat? Are you fucking mad, man? Y'all mad. Y'all crazy as fuck. Y'all calling something like Flapjack a, the goat? That's crazy. Y'all calling Flapjack goaded? That's crazy. Like, y'all niggas are crazy for saying that shit. I honestly believe y'all niggas crazy. Because ain't no way y'all niggas saying that shit with all your chest saying that. Oh, this show's goaded. No, it's not. Who likes Flapjack? What's that show for? Who's it for? People who have fever dreams? Obviously. Because it can't be for people who have rational brains. Because if they did, they wouldn't watch this shit. I watch Flapjack. It's fucking bullshit. Flapjack is trash. You can hate me for my opinion if you want, but it's garbage and you know it is. That's why you get so goddamn mad about it. You so mad that I'm saying, how dare you speak against the goat? Cause it ain't a goat. It ain't no goat. It's ass. Let's be honest. That show is not goated. I've seen Samurai Jack. I enjoy Samurai Jack. I haven't got. A I, I've watched. Uh, I'm trying to watch all of it. I haven't had a chance to watch all of it yet. I enjoy. I enjoy Samurai Jack. It's cool. I'm enjoying that show. That's the current show I'm watching right now. Ed and Eddie will always be a certified hood classic. I don't care what y'all what y'all say. Anyone slender uh, <laughs> Samurai Jack. Uh, Ed, Ed, anyone slender Ed and Eddie. It's gonna get banned, 100%. You're getting blocked, blocked, blocked. I don't care, blocked. I'm joking, I'm not gonna block no one for their opinion. I don't, depending on the opinion. Now, now y'all y'all little fucking weirdos who be in sale communities and your little fucking weirdos in the fucking um, goddamn rail pill communities, depending on what you fucking type in. I might have to, I might have to hit you with that. You know what, let's, you wanna key yourself with kids kill yourself together? Let's do it, stupid ass. What the hell was that? Like, man, he's just like me, got suicide with. He got, he's suicide, bro. He's, su he's a jihadist, bro. Chill out, bro. It ain't that deep. You ain't gotta be trying to kill us both together. Oh shit. Stop killing him, please. Ooh, this big dude almost killed me. That's crazy. But I was saying, like, that shit just pissed me off. That shit just, it's just not a good show to me. Flapjack isn't a show I enjoy. I don't enjoy Flapjack. Oh my god. I just don't enjoy Flapjack. Just not my cup of tea. Chowder, I watch Chowder. 
and I don't know about it. I, I have I, I have to rewatch the show again. I have to rewatch Chowder. I literally have to rewatch Chowder because I to me I haven't seen that in a while. I haven't seen Chowder in a long in a long time, so I can't tell you if it's bad or not. Oh shit! You know. That's, that's just me. So I, I'll end it here with all the opinions I, I've, I've said. Tell me what you think in the comments below. Uh, thank you for watching.